Hi, I'm Mark Rudiger from Lake County Websites and Computer Repair, and I prepared these videos for the people that are new to Windows 10 or just struggling with the new features and settings. So these videos, I'm going to take you step by step through all the settings and the features in Windows 10. So when you're done with these videos, you will be able to change the settings yourself, get to the features you want, and also enjoy Windows 10. Thank you. Okay, so here we are again, and um, this is for people that can't make the workshops and also people that would like to get a little more clarity on Windows 10 uh, from the workshops. That's sometimes helpful to see it again and the step-by-step -step rather than having it in a group where there's other questions being asked and things like that. So one of the things I wanted to go through was the menu. And so you click on the little start button here, and this is the new menu in Windows 10. So we have uh, what well, looks kind of like Windows 7 over here. And then we have the tiles similar to Windows 8. Uh, this can be customized. So you can actually get the little uh, arrows here and drag this to be a bigger screen if you like this. If not, you can make it smaller So and just use mostly this. Uh, to get to the All Programs, it's now called All Apps. So that's right here. If you click on that, this will give you all your programs. So you won't have the problem with Windows 8 where people couldn't find their programs. It's, they're all here. So this is every program on your computer. You can see I have Excel, uh, several other programs. So the, the other thing is um, if you want shortcuts, like some people like shortcuts on their desktop like these. Um, I don't prefer that. Some of these got installed automatically when I installed things but uh, what I use mostly for quick access is the uh, taskbar right here and you can put these icons in here for just the programs you use most most of the time so if you go in here click on all apps I can if I want something down there that's not in there say um, groove music so if I right click on the groove mu music I can go to here to more and then pin to taskbar. So if I pin that to the taskbar, now I have it here. So now I don't have to open the menu. I can just click on Groove Mu Music right here and open the program. And one of the nice things, one of the reasons I don't care for desktop icons, uh, your shortcuts on the desktop, one is they take away from your your background, your picture. Sometimes you might have a nice picture that you want to display. Um, but the biggest reason is say you have some windows open. So now I have Firefox open. Let's open uh, Word. So now I have a couple programs open. And I can't see my desktop, correct? So... I would have to minimize all my windows. Say, what if I have seven windows? I'd have to minimize all these to get to my desktop so that I could access one of these shortcuts. But let's just say I have these open. And so I have three programs open here again. And what happens, see, I can just click on one of my, my shortcuts down here. I can open Excel. I can open QuickBooks. I can open whatever I want that I've pinned here. So let's do um, another one. All apps. Go down here. And let's say money. Let's put money on there. Right click. And it's already in the start menu. So you can pin it to the start, which is this, or the tiles. Or you can pin it to the taskbar. So now I have money down here in the test bar. So I can click on that. I can click on one of these.
Okay, so that's um, th so that's it for the quick little menu. I'm going to do more on the menu. Uh, there's a lot to it, and that's just a little um, intro. So I'll be doing more, and hope hope you come back and see some.